with their song, Hell Yeah, and Complicated on the Big Dumb Fun Show. My name is Aaron. My name is Bankman. Rena Mecca is on assignment tonight. Actually, she's probably on the on the toilet, to be uh, to be completely honest. She's not feeling so good. You know, when she was under the weather last week, she left in the middle of the show, and she I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on, but uh, she's not going to be with us tonight. Who is with us, though? Now joining us is Adam, who plays lead guitar for Southern Pain. Adam, welcome to the Big Dumb Fun Show, buddy. Hello, hello. It's good to have you on here. I'd, uh, I, we were talking about Southern Pain in our very first segment of the show. All right. And uh, we were, I was kind of confused because I'm like, oh, yeah, Southern Pain's been around for a while. And then I read, oh, this is their debut show. And I'm like, wait a minute. But then I, I uh, put yeah. two and two together like an idiot. And I'm like, oh, no, this is the arcane debut show that Southern Pain is playing. Because you, you've been around for a while now. Uh, we got out, I guess, uh, our first show was last April, uh, last year, so I've uh, been around a little bit. Uh, got together, I'd say, uh, December range. Um, so why the hell haven't you been on the show earlier? I'm not sure, man. You guys are asking me. You know, it yeah. is. It's really, you know, I was going to say something earlier, but uh, I didn't want to ruffle <laughs> feathers my first show, you know, so. No, ruffle away. Yeah, ruffle okay. away. We can take it. No, but uh, how did Southern Pain uh, come about? Um, actually, it was, um... Me and an old drummer from a different band uh, just kind of kept playing together. Mm -hmm. Uh, We ended up kind of making. So this is not your first foray into the. No, it's not. (laughs) I'd like to think it was, but kind of been been at it for a while. Probably Mm -hmm. last uh, really five six years, and I'm just trying to get the right guys together. And gotcha. Always a difficult process. So (laughs) So. so you and another guy started up the band. Uh, Me and Paul Brown were kind of the basis of of the band, and then Mm -hmm. we brought in uh, Corey Gardner, which is our lead singer. And uh, it was just a good fit with us. Now, and, uh, with Daniel, were you thinking, have we need uh, we need a guy that's been kicked out of every band in Kansas City? That's what we were going for, so we could kick him out ourselves. Yeah, we I was just wanted to feel like part of the uh, part of the scene. We you know were going I mean? through his so. credits. He's like, I was formerly in Collapse. I was formerly in uh, this. I was formerly in uh, you know, Guns N' Roses. I was formerly. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's formerly in everything. Yeah, that's right. Formerly appeared on the Big Dumb Fun Show. <laughs> it so, was it was a big setup. We didn't let him in, but I understand. Uh, I think yeah. he's getting in now. No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, and pl- plus uh, he's bringing the media to this event too. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> Right on, He's bringing yeah. the guests. Now, how does yeah. how does a, an event like this different than any other event that you've ever played before? This one coming up this Friday at the record. Um, this one maybe just a little bit more involved in it, um, and it's kind of something we've we've set up ourselves instead of uh, working with a I don't know outside promoter, if you will. Mm-hmm. So uh, Adam is actually the one of you know he does help us with Arcane too. We we consider him a, an employee of Arcane Media and Entertainment. Kind of kind of like a partner. You're helping out a lot. Uh, yeah, tr- yeah, just getting uh, Picking your something brain. I've wanted to do for quite a while and just uh, never really found the right thing. And uh, doing it yourself is kind of a, a chore, you mm-hmm. know, so uh, having Lisa, Danny's been, been pretty cool to kind of work with. Then so. you found a CD in your car. Yeah, I did. Now, <laughs> is, this, is this an EP? Is this something that somebody could buy at this upcoming show? Or um, do you have anything no. on disc yet? We did like a uh, three-song demo, and this is one that was probably uh, one that's been reworked a few times mm-hmm. and mastered. So this is probably the best cut that we had. Uh, something that we've got uh, coming out on 90.1, uh, possibly a little bit of playtime on 96.5 cool. with uh, Wake Fest coming up. They're going to promote us there. Uh, trying to get it on 102, so Paul Chandler, if you're out there, everybody. <laughs> hey, no sucking out to our chat on, room man. now. Well, <laughs> if he, he is in the chat room, I don't know if he's still there, but nonetheless, uh, we're playing a track. Yeah, he said once, okay. once Lisa got and off camera, it, he, it, he yeah. totally tuned in. And uh, here, here, let me put the camera back on her. And <laughs> <laughs> we're going to play this, and hopefully he'll hear it, and maybe he'll get you on Alice 102. Yeah, that'd be cool. Me. You know, he does that little spotlight. Now, what are you yep. doing on 90.1 KKFI? Um, Is we're it doing the like high a promo voltage? for uh, Wake Fest, uh, a deal down at Truman Lake mm-hmm. on September 1st is when we're playing. It's a, a weekend event. Um, uh, LI Bookings is who's kind of been, been running that. Mm-hmm. Lee. Now this uh, is this is a Truman job. Lake. It's a it's it's a little bit of a drive, but it's totally bit. worth it for this festival. Yep. Gunnar, do you remember? I have no idea who the hell was in here to ta- to to let us know about this, but they're playing, like on an island on the lake. So folks come down and they come to like the, to the the shore, right? Or they, you know they, they just kind of set up the beach towels and whatnot. Is this little guy deep plane, deep yeah. plane? <laughs> and then the guy the, the, you're set up on like an island or I don't know if it's a dock or. No, like, I think he exactly. says they're playing. Yeah, it's yeah. it's great. I, I mean, it's it's a really neat event. Two stages on the water are supposed to be a pretty pretty cool little deal. So it should I'm be great if you, people can bring their boats up and watch the correct. show. Yeah, correct. Oh, yeah. See, that's awesome. Yeah, it's kind of like you're bringing you know once again that party cove. That's exactly what we'll be doing. Our yeah. lake house is only 20 minutes away from. There. Oh, fantastic! It's the yeah. same. It's the same lake that we wakeboard on. Oh, this, so you're going to be just annoying people wakeboarding in the middle of a set. <laughs> you get the band that you like the least, and you're like, "All right, take it up to 60." I think Danny's going to be there to uh, police uh, inappropriate bikinis. Is that right? Is, is there a bikini but, inspector yeah. there? Yeah. I have experience, so if you need my resume, I'll pass <laughs> that right over to you. Yeah, I'm not going to be. I don't want to kick him out though. <laughs> 
So, uh, well, this is going to be interesting. Southern Pain started about it's December or so. Here, Paul Chandler says Southern Pain is awesome live in the chat room. All right. Hey, I like this guy. Or he's giving you the thumbs up. All right. I guess or so. at least you, one of the fingers. You just don't know where. <laughs> no, which one it is. He's giving yeah. you the thumbs up. You just don't know where. <laughs> but uh, Southern Pain is uh, on Facebook on Facebook.com slash Southern Pain KC. We linked up on our Facebook post uh, promoting that you were going to be on the show. So uh, you're going to have this gig coming up this Friday. And then and then where does Southern Pain go from there? Um, actually, August 2nd, we have the Collapse Fest coming up, which is going to be a pretty good deal. Also, uh, kind of a weekend event. Are you on night one or night two? Night one, Friday night, August 2nd. I think so. we're on night six or something. Oh, like nice. That, that yeah. thing is just taking on a yeah, life of its own. Yeah, I think that's uh, maybe put you about Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, so no, maybe exactly. not a good crowd, but Not hey. a good slot, you yeah. know, but hey, we'll take it. You know, <laughs> where, whatever we got to do. Where is that at this year? It's going to be at uh, Aftershock. Okay, it's so, going to be Aftershock because yeah. yeah, they were kicked out of the Riot Room what, last year, uh, two years ago. Be some, it no, there was something that. weird. The pitch, the pitch came in and they had their music took showcase their music, event. Exactly, Gosh. and so they got bumped. It was less than 30 days before the event. It was absolutely difficult. But they did be, offer them poor one of the, on the pitch. They, they said, "Hey, you could have one of the two days, but just not both." Oh, is that right? I believe I, so. I, if that's and how so it worked, it's very odd. They because just moved the event. Do you think it's odd now getting a bunch of like local people? You know, Lisa, you're in the business. You guys have been in the in, in the band, you know, business. Do you think it's odd when the pitch will do like a spotlight on a local band and you have no idea who the hell they are? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I kind of find it odd. Now, see, I... <laughs> yeah, I that's I, odd, seeming that we know everybody in the exactly. scene. Exactly! <laughs> Except these you guys. You know, I, once again, Southern... I've never spoke with you, sure. but I know the name Southern Pain. Sure. Like, I know some of these bands, yeah. and how they reach deep in the butt crack of Westport to pull <laughs> They're out... They're like, hey, it's the local music showcase yeah. starring... Starring these guys, well, they're like, where were they? It's just, where were they? It's just ridiculous. I know it's, bands that are coming up from the School of it's, Rock it's that nobody knows about. It's six bands you've never heard of, and the beautiful bodies. It's just very, yeah. <laughs> so it's just kind of odd, though. That I mean, you're not going to say anything bad about them because you want, well, no, you want pitch well, covered. Right but, 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 but don't you think no, it's they odd? Might be, <laughs> they might be listening too. You never. I was going to say maybe we need we, we need some we need some pitch. press here. Exactly. Let's see if there's any show that we can be a kiss ass on. It's this show right here. Yeah. It's like let's find somebody else to kiss ass. But all right. So Southern Pain, you got to. A big gig coming up with uh, <laughs> Wake Fest. That's what. That's the problem. Uh, Wake Fest, and yes. uh, it's going to be at Truman Lake, and it's yep. uh, August second. You said uh, August second is Collapse Fest. Oh, that's um, right. Yeah. And then August fourth is going to be a good show for us. We're uh, opening up the Texas City for us. That's Canada. cool. We had uh, them booked once, but then they had nice. to cancel because of something else. But I want them on the show too. Oh, yeah. Put in a good word for me on that. Yeah, I'll try, man. I'll try. All right, that'd be great. Uh, so, uh, Adam, thanks so much for joining us tonight. On the big We've got fun Southern show. Pain going to be playing right now. What's the name of this track? Up of the Sun. Up with the sun. Up with the sun. Up with the sun. Straight you up heard in the morning, first. get your coffee, and uh, hang on. On the Big Dumb Fun Show. Facebook.com slash Southern Pain KC. Adam, Lisa, Daniel, thanks so much for joining us tonight.